Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to basically update your Nintendo Switch to the 1.19 version because 18 is outdated now. And a lot of people have been wondering how do I update on to this version because it's pretty complicated, but it's not that complicated to do. Um, I'm going to be just showing you guys how to do the basic version of this update where we're just going to update Atmosphere Akati. Just basically updating the essentials and then later on, I'll make a video on how to update Tinfoil because there's a new version of Tinfoil out that's compatible with this and it will make it so that your Switch can run the new free shops and other stuff on there. But for this video, there's a few things we're going to need. One is a USB-C cable to connect to your PC to boot your Tegra RCM off of. And then you need a way to basically transfer data to your SD card. So I'm going to be using one of these things because I want to take my SD card out. But if you're on Hakatsi, you can just basically plug this in here. But I recommend taking your SD card out because we're also going to be updating Hakatsi and all the files on here. So a lot of the files to update and all that are going to be on the PC. So we're going to go on the PC and I'm going to show you what to do from there. But on your Nintendo Switch, you just want to make sure you have one application first. So we're going to go into our homebrew menu and we're just going to wait for this to load. So we're just going to load here and we're going to look for the updater. So what we have over here is Daybreak and what Daybreak is basically our update. So we're going to put our update file here because right now I'm on firmware version 18.1.0. So we're going to remove that firmware and put the new one in. So let's get into it so the first thing you want to do is power off and send a switch right here so i'm just going to power this off hold it power options turn off and we're going to wait a few seconds until it's fully off and it should be off by now then we're going to take the sd card out of our switch right here and then we're going to put this into our pc or any way to transfer files over so this is my usb and i'm going to go on the pc and i'll show you what to do from there so here we are on the PC. So we have these five links that we need to download in order to update our Nintendo Switch. So what we want to do first is we want to go onto our Nintendo Switch SD card right here. And as you can see right here, we have a folder called firmware 18.1.0. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this folder from the SD card. So we're going to wait for this to delete and that's deleted. Next thing what we're going to do is download these links. Now to get to these links, I have them in my Discord server over here. So in order to get to these links, you want to join the LT link from the link tree. When you're over here, you just want to go on to any of these right here. Join here. There's a video guide on how to join. So you want to go into join here and you just want to go on this link tree here after and you want to join LTS. When you're in LTS, you want to go into switch links and you're going to see updating switch video links over here. So these are where all the links are going to be. Now what we want to do first is we want to go over here and we want to press download sig patches so we're going to download this we're going to put these over here and already have it downloaded so what we're going to do then is we're going to go into mission control we're going to scroll down and download the zip file so we're going to go here save then we're going to go over here and then we're going to go look scroll and then we're going to go download the zip for hikate download save then we're going to go into atmosphere then we're going to go over here and download this zip file right here and then we're going to go onto fusey.bin and download this as well. And then over here on switch firmwares, what we're going to do is download firmware 19.0. So we're going to press download. It's going to take us to a mega link. So we're going to wait for this to download. Then we're going to press download here. And we're going to wait for this. So while the rest is downloading, what we have over here is our downloads. So we have our downloads here. And then over here, we can open our switches SD card. So what we want to do first is we're going to just download this real quick. And now we have all the files we need. So what you want to do first is you want to extract all of these files. So once these are done extracting, I'll show you what to do from there. And here we are back with everything extracted. So what you want to do first is you see this firmware 19.0 folder. What you want to do is you just want to drag and drop this over here. So we're going to wait for this to go. And then what we're going to do is we see the sig patches folder. So we'll do sig patches next. So we're going to wait for this to finish downloading right here. So we're going to go here, sig patches. We're going to copy all of these. And we're just going to drag and drop these here. Then you're going to get this message saying it has the same names. You just want to press replace the files in the destination. Then after we do sig patches, we're going to go into mission control, drag and drop this to the root of the SD card, replace. And we're going to go back, Akate. Same thing, drag and drop, then replace. And what you want to do here, while we're still in the Hakate folders, you want to go on to Payloads. So let's look for Payloads. So 
we're in bootloader and then we click payloads so we're gonna go over here in payloads and then as you can see this is 6.2 and this is 6.1 so we're gonna delete this one and we're gonna drag and drop this hot in there and then this fusey dot bin we're gonna delete this one we're gonna go back and then drag and drop this fusey dot bin here and then we're just gonna go back to the root and then just to be safe I also drag and drop the fusey to the root of the SD card and there we go so now we got fusey firmware mission control hikate then we're gonna do atmosphere so we're just gonna go drag and drop these here replace and that's it and then we're gonna go into tegra rcm gui over here and this is where we're gonna open this and then we're gonna go look for our payload and our payload is gonna be this folder is gonna want hikate we're gonna select this one and that is our payload so we're gonna boot it and then we're gonna go on the switch and i'll show you what i do from there so here we are back on our nintendo switch right here as you can see we're on our new firmware of hakate it says 6.2.2 we're gonna go on payloads and then we're gonna press fusey.bin we're gonna wait for this to launch it takes a minute so let's just wait it's almost done And there we go. Now that we have our Nintendo Switch thing loading up, we're just gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go on Daybreak now and I will show you how to update this actual Switch firmware now. So it is running just fine. So here we go onto the thing over here. So now we can see we have this updated. So what we're gonna go is we're gonna go onto our homeroom menu. Now, if you're like me and have a custom theme, we need to remove that. So what you wanna do is you just wanna go look for your themes are installer so let me go to the new one i have right here themes are nx installer where to go so here it is we're going to select this and we're going to go over here and press uninstall the current theme we're going to press yes and press ok then what we're going to do is we're going to have to press reboot so we're going to reboot the console now so we're going to wait for this to boot back up again we'll give it a second And there we go. It's booting back up. And if everything was done correctly, the theme should be removed. So we'll see, it's taking a minute to boot up, so. Here we go. So now we're gonna power on our switch. And there we go, back to normal, nothing over here. Now what we're gonna do is go back into the album here, and then we're gonna go on to Daybreak. So we're gonna scroll till we find Daybreak, and there we go. We're gonna go and install, and we're gonna see firmware 19.0. Then we're gonna wait for this, it's gonna load the firmware. So we're gonna just wait till it's done loading. And then we're gonna press continue. Then we're gonna do preserve settings and then install FAT32 plus XFAT and then continue. So once this is done updating, I'll go back and show you what to do from there. And here we are back on our switch. So everything has been updated. And if we go into settings now, we can scroll and go onto system. Now, as you can see, we're on the current version 19.0 and atmosphere 1.8. So everything has been updated. Now, if you want to get your theme back, what you want to do is you want to go onto the album right here. And then we're going to go keep scrolling. And then we're going to go onto our theme, sir. And once we have our NX installer, it's going to say the version is different. We're going to press yes. And then it's going to start extracting the whole menu. Now, if you don't remove your theme on this, then when you try updating your switch, it's just going to show errors. And it's going to keep showing those errors until you remove the theme. So now what we want to do is we want to put our theme back. So we're going to go into themes. I like this theme right here. So I'm going to go into this folder. I'm going to wait for the folder to load. And then I'm going to just select all these. And then I'm going to install it. But basically, that's pretty much it on how to install an update on your Switch. Your Switch is fully updated. And in the next videos, I'll show you how to get free shops and other stuff onto your Nintendo Switch. But that's pretty much it on a basic install from 
version 18 to version 19. So yeah, if this video helped you, like and subscribe. Goodbye.